Uh, Mark Garman with VIB TV. I'm here today with Lewis Brown. Lewis Brown. Lewis F. Brown, attorney is. Yeah, former council member and senior state statesman. Uh, I'm sorry? I would consider you a, uh, a senior statesman as well, well as a yeah, former council yeah, member. Yeah. I was not... I was also on the Democratic Central Committee, mm -hmm. was elected. Okay. Uh, how, how long have you been in Vallejo, Mr. Brown? Came here in February of, no, March of 53. Okay. So quite a while. And, and when were you elected to, uh, to city council? When were you elected to city council in Vallejo? Oh, in 65. In I 60. had run four times to get elected. Okay. And you were the first African-American council member, as well, I recall. Well, at that time, we were called uh, Negroes. Mm -hmm. That's important for history. People don't realize how important that is, but it really is. Uh, things were harder, much, much harder to accomplish in when we were Negroes than when we became African-Americans. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, when you were on, on the city council, uh, what were the three top issues, or, or at least several of the top issues, uh, facing Vallejo at that time? Okay, one of the things that we we had a problem with was building the library downtown. Mm -hmm. We had had three bond issues, always got the majority of the voters, but never the percentage that we needed. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I had uh, researched the law, I'm an attorney, researched the law, and I realized that the state of California had not preempted the field. So we had to have a some revenue coming into the city of Vallejo that was earmarked to pay for the library. We could get $999,000 from uh, the state. Mm -hmm. And on my fourth or fifth month on the city council, I introduced a local cigarette tax. And uh, it was referred to the city manager, and city manager referred it to the city attorney, and city attorney came back and said the state had not preempted the field. Okay. And uh, we put on a, we, we uh, city council voted unanimously to uh, to get you know okay. pass a cigarette tax. Well, there's so we did. There's some talk now about uh, about new taxes. Uh, about you know a tax measure to help out with the current situation. Do you do you think that that? You mean back in that time? I mean I mean currently. 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 Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think it has a chance of passing? What what are your thoughts about that? I I, I really I really have I really have no idea. On, okay. But I know a lot of people are not interested in any uh, any taxes. Mm -hmm. With the recession, right. people out of jobs. The foreclosures. People are not interested in. Uh, okay. People are not interested in, in new taxes. Okay. You know. Right. Well, moving on to the the current uh, crisis in Vallejo. Uh, what what do you think are the underlying well, the causes? You didn't. You, I just told you about the. the mm -hmm. uh, told you about uh, the library, but we had a bad problem there with uh, bad civil rights problem. We had a lot of. Uh, we had could have had a lot of unrest with uh, mm -hmm. uh, young blacks doing the I call it the Roaring Sixties, mm -hmm. but uh, we were able to uh, communicate with them, and uh, and so we we came through real good. Right. 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 Okay. And. Uh what, what do you think about the current uh, fiscal crisis in Vallejo? What do you think the causes are and, and, and so well, on? You know, you, the bond and arbitration started in 1969. Mm -hmm. That's when I was, uh, I was on, a, on the council one term. Mm -hmm. 1969, we had uh, police strike and firemen strike. And uh, that's when that new, the new city council, along with members, along with some of the older guys who had served with me, uh, that's when the binding arbitration came about. Okay. And, and do you think that that's part of the problem? It, that's part of the problem, binding arbitration. But another part of the problem, the big problem has been that we elect too many people who do not understand our form of government and who do not want to, want to understand our form of government. Mm -hmm. We elect people 
in the mayor's position mm -hmm. who think that they're Willie Brown. Okay. That's a strong, very, very strong uh, 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 mayorship. We elect city council members who have never had a political science course, have never read the charter, mm -hmm. and I don't believe on the night when I appear down there right. that the members on that council, uh, uh, the, that the five, and I respect them, but I don't think they understood the charter because the charter says that a member of the council or the mayor cannot negotiate mm -hmm. with labor. Right. And if they do negotiate with labor, then they are in violation of a misdemeanor. If you read the chart, it's right there. Yes, sir. But I think that uh, there are people on the, on the council mm -hmm. who, even if they read that, they don't want to accept right. it because a lot people think that being a city councilman is a big thing. You got a lot of power. You don't have a lot of power as a city councilman or mayor in Vallejo. The only time you have power as a city councilman is if you can get four votes to pass an ordinance that you present. And uh, that's the big that's that that's that's the real problem. And, and another problem that we have now with people being obligated to a particular group. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that people in local government ought to be obligated to anyone but citizens. Yeah. Do you feel that? Do you feel that some of the council members um, ha are too committed and too obligated to the public safety unions? What, what, won't it get that? I feel that council members should not be obligated to anyone but the citizens as mm -hmm. a whole. Right. I've always felt that way when I used to run to represent all of the citizens to mm -hmm. the best of my ability and that's what I thought I was mm -hmm. doing and we came through pretty good. This is a, a city. You know, when you go up to the assembly, uh, uh, you go up to Congress, then you know, you, to, to make it you're going to have to have be obligated mm -hmm. to somebody. Right. But in a, in a it, it to me it's 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 kind of uh, yeah. a put down to see people uh, in the uh, in 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 the city council that's obligated to any group of yeah. people just so, the one group. So you feel that's a that's a problem right now? Is I that I think that's a problem. Yes, I think that's a a, a big problem, mm -hmm. and I don't believe that this issue that we are opposed to bankruptcy is sincere. Okay. I believe that that's an issue that people use so they can support the groups they're obligated mm -hmm. to. Okay. You know. Do you, um, do you think that uh, that bankruptcy is uh, is a good choice for Vallejo at this point? I, I am not going to recommend bankruptcy, mm -hmm. but I tell you what, I'm not in the position to recommend. I think that's for the council. Okay. I think if the council understands the charter and mm -hmm. they abide by the charter of the city of Vallejo, then they will listen to the staff, the city manager. Uh, I have no problem with the city manager. Mm -hmm. I think he's doing a good job. And uh, I think if the city council would listen to the city manager, then uh, we probably would have been in bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people think bankruptcy is a bad thing. I used to think bankruptcy was a bad thing until my partner for 30 years did bankruptcies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say that once I learned about it and I, I kindly followed it and talked to him, his name was Russ Bradley. Uh, every person who went through bankruptcy was better off if they did what the, they were supposed to do after, at the end of the bankruptcy than when they started. And uh, my experience is that Vallejo will, will be better off. And I also believe, what I'm not, I'm not recommending, but I also believe that we are going to end up in bankruptcy. And what we're doing now, we're just uh, messing around and uh, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's going to happen. And what are your thoughts about uh, Mayor Davis's uh Involvement in the in the negotiations. He's in violation of the charter. Okay. He's violating the law. Okay. 
and he is every time he is uh, negotiating with uh, employees it's a uh, misdemeanor and all you have to do is check the city charter and you will realize that it's a misdemeanor.